right. We are going to work with custom lightning components. So what can we do with custom lightning components? So if I head over to our playground here, if I go to set up and then set up here, I'm going to show you the lightning app builder. I've mentioned this on the previous module that you can create or install. Like for example, if I want to edit this my data app page, see this is the components available for you to use, right? You have 15 standard components. You can drag and drop to the right, zero custom, and you can also get more on the app exchange. So what we are going to learn on this module is you can install additional custom components and then you can drag it to the canvas and use it, right? Just like the standard components. That's what we're going to do. You can either develop your own custom components or, or install third party components or get from the app exchange and just, just drag it there. All right, that's what we are going to see how it works. We are not going to develop one, but we are going to install one. So if you want to develop your own components, you need to go through the basic foundational modules, Aura Components Basic, which is um, kind of outdated. Now we are moving towards Lightning Web Components. This is the module Lightning Web Components Basics on how you can create your own Lightning Components and just be creative, all right? So let's, for this particular module, install a third-party components. Before you can install it, you have to make sure my domain is already set up. But if you're using Trailhead Playground, like I am, you should already have this set up. So nothing to do here. But if you are working on your production org in your own company, your own organization, you will have to make sure my domain is turned on and is set up. So if, if you can see here on our playground, it says Empathic Goat, right? This is a my domain um, domain. So if not, you can you will see like NS um, or NA something like North America 17salesforcecom This is the generic domain which means your org has not is not using my domain yet but for the purpose of this trailhead playground it's already set up nothing to worry about there all right so we are going to install a package so i'm going to copy the package here so on your play uh, playground just basically i'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on here and type install a package. There's an app for installing a package on any Trailhead Playground that's newly created. So I'm going to copy my package ID and install there. I'm going to install for admin only because we are an admin. If you want uh, to install it on your production or your um, own organization or business you can install it for all users as well so everybody else can also use the components to design um, pages right but well probably this admin is going to be the one who's doing that anyway so it's up to you so that component has been installed all right so now now we are going to go to the app builder and test it so I'm going to go edit the top accounts and opportunities page and then opportunity alert. Whoa, this is our new one, opportunity alert that we just installed. Okay, so head over to my playground again. I'm done with that. I'm going to go to um, Lightning App Builder again. Lightning App. Lightning App Builder, there it is. And then I am going to edit the top accounts and opportunities. And now we should have woohoo one custom component, opportunity alert. So we can drag there, 
um, above the list few components and then they since last modified to six above the list few components so this is the list few components i'm gonna drag the opportunity alert here to the top above it boom and then on the configuration here i'm gonna change to six okay now that's done i'm gonna save that and activate again same thing i'm going to just save it okay so that's it so if i go back to here and then top accounts and opportunities woohoo we have opportunity alerts component so it's basically um, highlighting the uh, opportunity the stage name is prospecting when it was last modified and the close date of the opportunity. You can be creative and do whatever you like with your own custom component. But that's basically how you can use after you develop or install your own Lightning custom component. All right, let's do the challenge together. Now we've tested already. So Basically, we want to install this package and then add const context today to my data. That's pretty simple, right? So first, you go to your setup. I'm going to close this and install a package. Another one, I'm going to go there. Remember, install a package, go here. And then type install a package, which will go to this page here. And then you just paste your package ID there, install. And let's install for all users. Okay. So that's installed and it's called, if I go back here, it's called Contacts Today. Installing and granting access to all users takes a few seconds. Okay, come on. Giddy up, giddy up. Thing is done. Installation complete. Now back to the setup here. Okay, set up and then lightning app builder and edit my data. We have another custom component. Boom. Contacts today. I'm going to put it on top of it. Is there any configuration I need to do? No. So basically that's it. Contacts you've, you know, you've worked with today probably. I'm going to save and I'm going to activate and just activate and save again make sure it's updated now count to five one two what why am i counting because sometimes it takes a few seconds for this to pick up so when i click check challenge it's picking up the changes already okay three two one bada bing bada boom i'll see you on the next module we are going to get a new badge here. Woohoo! Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom